Beneath this lush setting in Kipkelion, Kiricho County, lies a rich history. This present home of members of the Kipsigis community was formerly known as Lumbua, a name it earned in 1850s owing to an old ritual that brought an end to the fighting between the Kipsigis and the British colonialists. Wakalete Umbua, alafu jamii wa Kipsigis wakashika upandu moja na jamii wa wazungu na sirikali yao walishika upande wa kichwa. Kwa hivyo walimukata hatimaye walimshika <clears throat> walimshika umbwa kichwa ikitasama chini na sehemu ya mkia juu mzuri kwa mazumbwa sisi kutesa kuapeleka kule mapa kutengeneza railway british alizumbwa sisi kabisa ambao watoto wetu hata kuzoma kuna bakasi tunasema hii umbwa aende chini amani we mzuri so they buried the head facing down so that um, that would symbolize end of colonial rule. The elders also planted this tree that still towers over these lands. A testament to the strained relations between the indigenous community and the invading newcomers. But it was a fleeting truce in the 1930s most settlers arrived carving out more land for themselves. They were mostly commercial tea and coffee farmers owing to the good soil and climate. The community's warriors, however, fought back in a battle to reclaim their home. Kipkelion town still bears the scars of that war. They met with a Kipsigis chief called Menya Arab Kisiara and they signed a treaty with him saying that all this land, Kipsigis land, would now belong would now come under the Imperial British East Africa Company. Now, uh, it is important to put this into context to understand, first of all, that the Kipsigis had already encountered the Arabs. The Arabs have, had come to this country, the Swahili Arabs, and every time they tried to cross Kipsigis country going to Uganda, there were skirmishes. There was a lot of uh, the caravans were attacked a lot of times. So when the caravans were attacked, they came up with a way of trying to create peace. They came up with a concept and idea called blood brotherhood. Old structures, some of which were used as stores for the farm produce then, still stand defiantly at the heart of the town, the last signs of an era long gone. It was British policy actually to have as many Europeans settle this land. Now they reasoned that if there are so many people that are um, producing uh, cash crops from this land, then they would use the railway to transport their produce upwards and for export. So that would make the railway uh, viable. So they basically came and uh, threw away the Kipsgis that lived on that land. Uh, so many people were removed. <coughs> And to this day, there are people who still remember exactly where they once lived. The first cooperative society was established there. The first one in Kenya called Lupa Cooperative Society. It was basically to take care of the cooperative activities for the white settlers. It was only meant for the settlers. No, no Africans were not allowed by then. The structures were not the only remnants when the last of the British settlers left. There are some 50 graves untouched lying in these undulating landscapes. Here are the remains of the famous first settlers, among them Hutchinson, Hamilton and Captain Edward, who died between 1950s and 1960s. Some of the first settlers that had come in that particular place, some that had arrived in 1905, 1906, 1907, were also middle-aged people. By the time, they, in the mid-twenties, they were very old people. So they began to die. Some of the colonial churches now inherited by the locals still stand out as historical marks left by the white settlers. Kulikuanga na morning service, where wazungu diyo walikuwa na anzanga, alafu diyo baadae, wanaanza uh, eh, yani lesson ya kawaida ya Afrika. 
hakuruhusu kuchanganyana na Waafrika. This is part of what we can say uh, a dark history of uh, of religion in this country where two people worshiping the same god were not allowed to worship under the same roof. The history of Lumbwa can still be traced back to many years ago where the historical marks still litter in the region. A glimpse of how Kenya followed her journey to independence. Kevin Mutai, NTV in Kericho County.